My name is Paul Millard, and I am obsessed with the publishing industry, as every first or second time author inevitably gets sucked into. And I reached out to Eric because I realized that if I had something on my calendar, I could then use it as motivation to go on an absurd deep dive about the history of the book publishing industry and talk about how we arrived at the current insanity. And you're the right man for the job because not only are you now like a indie author twice over, your background was what, consulting, banking, both? I worked in strategy consulting and worked at places like McKinsey, BCG. I did the business school thing. I really didn't like that path at all. It didn't suit me, but I still need to express like five to 10% of that every once in a while. So a few times a year, I need to create an absurdly long slide deck or start doing some <laughs> analysis. And that feeds a part of me and make sure I don't go back. So yeah, this is part of that need. <laughs> so you have a very specific set of skills. And, and this time it's personal. And when you decide to tear apart an industry, you know how to tear apart an industry. Because now that I'm in that industry, I have really wanted to do the deep dive into the full history and understand all the everything. But also, it's really hard to do that once you're like in the trenches of the day to day. So I'm excited to see what you learn and talk through it because it's a fascinating industry. Like up is down, sideways is purple, and there's all kinds of weird stuff going on in here. Yeah, so I pulled out some trends and I'll start with like some high level conclusions and then we can dive in as we go. One is books are a industry that has been around since the 1400s. And pretty much steadily since then, books have increased in production and how much they're read, how much they're printed over time. However, from another thing is the distribution of profit and how that breaks out in book publishing has shifted dramatically, especially since the 1800s. The third thing is authors often got rich by retaining rights, not selling all their rights, which is going to vibe with the scribe outlook. It's going to vibe with me <laughs> for sure. <laughs> And then another theme I pulled out was that publishers consistently devalue new formats and options. I think they sort of have like prestige goggles on and we can dive in to that. 